Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on March 17th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1984 Fleer Dave Parker card number 258. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $26.40. Up next at number 49 is this 1984 Don Russ Daryl Strawberry Rookie, card number 68. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $26.40. Coming in at number 48 is this 1987 Leaf Mark McGuire Rookie, card number 46. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $27.60. Up next at number 47 is this 1985 Don Rust Dwight Gooden rookie, card number 190. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $28.80. Coming in at number 46 is this 1987 Topps Future Stars Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 170. This rookie was in a BGS 9 and it sold for $31.20. We're headed to the early 1980s at number 45 with this 1981 Kellogg's Johnny Bench, card number 65. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $32.40. Up next at number 44 is this 1987 Don Russ Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 35. This rated rookie was in a CGC 9.5 and it sold for $34.80. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 43 with this 1986 Don Russ the Rookie's Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 38. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $34.80. Coming in at number 42 is this 1987 Don Russ Greg Maddox Rookie, card number 36. This rated rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 41 is this 1984 O'Connell and Son Inc. Mini Prince Babe Ruth card number 90. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $37.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 40 with this 1981 Hall of Fame Metallic Plaque Cards Babe Ruth. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 39 is this 1986 Don Russ Fred McGriff Rookie, card number 28. This rated rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $39.60. Coming in at number 38 is this 1984 Don Russ Don Manningly Rookie, card number 248. This rookie was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it also sold for just short of $40. 
We're headed to the peak of the junk wax era at number 37. With this 1989 Topps Tiffany John Smoltz Rookie, card number 382. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $42 even. Up next at number 36 is this 1985 Fleer Kirby Puckett Rookie, card number 286. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $43.20. Up next at number 35 is this 1983 Topps Traded Daryl Strawberry Rookie, card number 108T. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $43.20. Up next at number 34 is this 1988 Topps Tiffany Tom Glavin Rookie, card number 779. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $44.40. Coming in at number 33 is this 1986 Don Russ Jose Canseco rookie, card number 39. This rated rookie was in a PSA 9 and it also sold for $44.40. Up next at number 32 is this 1985 Topps Traded Tiffany Ricky Henderson, card number 49T. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $49.20. Coming in at number 31 is this 1985 Topps Cal Ripken Jr., card number 704. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $49.20. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1989 Don Russ Randy Johnson Rookie, card number 42. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for just over $50. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 29 with this 1987 Topps Traded Tiffany David Cone Rookie, card number 24T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $51.60. Up next at number 28 is this 1988 Fleer Glossy Tom Glavin Rookie, card number 539. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $52.80. Coming in at number 27, is this 1984 Topps Traded Dwight Gooden Rookie, card number 42T. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $54 even. Up next at number 26 is this 1985 Topps Traded Vince Coleman rookie, card number 24T. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $56.40. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 25 with this 1981 Hall of Fame Metallic Plaque Cards Mickey Mantle. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $62.40. Up next at number 24 is this 1984 Topps Don Manningly Rookie, card number 8. This rookie was in a PSA 9, 
and it sold for just short of $70. Coming in at number 23 is this 1981 Topps Harold Baines Rookie, card number 347. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $79.20. Up next at number 22 is this 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 145. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $81.60. Coming in at number 21 is this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 1. This star rookie was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $126. Make that four straight newcomers to the list to kick off the top 20 with this 1989 Fleer Bill Ripken FF Air Rookie, card number 616. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $126. Up next at number 19, is this 1987 Classic Update Yellow Greenback Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 113. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $138. Coming in at number 18 is this 1987 Bellingham Mariners Team Issue Ken Griffey Jr. Pre-Rookie, Card number 15. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $138. Up next at number 17 is this 1988 Score Glossy Nolan Ryan, card number 575. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $150. Coming in at number 16 is this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 1. This star rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $168. Up next at number 15 is this 1987 Fleer Update Glossy Mark McGuire Rookie Auto. Card number U76. This was a PSA 10 that was given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $252. Coming in at number 14 is this 1986 Topps Traded Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 11T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it also sold for $252. Coming in at number 13 is this 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 33. This iconic rated rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $300 even. Up next at number 12 is this 1987 Fleer Hottest Stars Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 5. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $324. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 11 with this 1982 Topps Traded Ozzie Smith. Card number 109T. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $324. 
And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Mark McGuire rookie, card number 366. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $432. Up next at number 9 is this 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 98T. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $432. Coming in at number 8 is this 1985 Topps Kirby Puckett Rookie, card number 536. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $720. The Big Unit makes another appearance on today's list at number 7, with this 1989 Upper Deck Randy Johnson rookie, card number 25. This star rookie was in a BGS Gold Label 10, and it sold for $1,020. Coming in at number 6 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 320. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $1,530. Alright guys, and before we get to the top 5, I did pull aside 10 bonus cards to share today. We'll start off with this 1989 Score Young Superstars 2 Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 18. This was a CGC 9.5 and it sold for $26.40. For another Rookie of the Kid, I ran across his 1989 Fleer Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 548. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $19.20. And for one more, I ran across this 1989 score traded Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 100T. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $18 even. For our fourth bonus card, I found this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire rookie, card number 401. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $25.20. For a player that almost never makes the top 50, up next is this 1987 Topps Tiffany John Cruck rookie, card number 123. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $20.40. For what seems to be another one of our weekly regulars that just happened to miss the top 50 this week, we get this 1983 Topps Ryan Sandberg rookie, card number 83. This rookie was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $19.20. Up next is this 1986 Topps Traded Ken Griffey Sr. card number 41T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $15.60. Headed back to the inaugural 1989 Upper Deck Baseball set for our 8th bonus card, I ran across Gary Sheffield's rookie with card number 13. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $15.60. For another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1980 Topps Robin Yount, card number 265. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $12 even. And for one more bonus card of the kid that I ran across towards the bottom of the listings, we get this 1989 Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 220. This rookie was in a PSA 8, and it sold for $12 even.
And we get one of our weekly regulars to kick off the top five with this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $1,650. Up next at number four is this 1989 Topps Tiffany Randy Johnson rookie, card number 647. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $2,100. Coming in at number three is this 1982 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. rookie, card number 176. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $2,640. Up next at number two is this 1989 Topps Traded Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 41T. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $3,000 even. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1983 Topps Tony Gwynn Rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $3,000 even. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.